great, beautiful, blissful rising to all of my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. It is your boy, Terrible Wong Star. Gotta break it down to all of my beautiful Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus, wherever it's at in your chart. Hey, salutations, welcome. If you're strolling through for the first time, come on in and see what spirit gotta give you. So with that basically being said, let's go ahead and get into this one, okay? Now, Virgo, the title of this one is Stay Focused. You may not see it now, but things are in your favor. Again, stay focused. You may not see it now, but things are in your favor, okay? Now, Virgo, you may have been wa uh, walking and getting things done. You may have been working very hard getting back on track, mentally, physically, spiritually, especially financially. Now, you may have been nurturing yourself to get your life back in order uh, and, and probably working on the way of overcoming over the hurdles of challenges throughout everyday life, okay? Even though you seem like you're in the unknown, Virgo, your emotional intelligence has have you to watch the people people that's around you. You may be choosing your friends very closely. You may be starting to enhance your empathic abilities where you are starting to feel the energy around those uh, near you, okay? Now, Virgo, you may also be very patient or maybe having patience about which way you want to go to balance yourself for stability. I feel like a lot of you may have been dealing with a lot of haters that may have been coming in or people that may have been trying to go against you about you leveling up. You got a lot of envious people that energy that I'm sensing because your light is so radiant and you are being so abundant and blissful. Spirit is blessing you in so many ways that you just can't see it yet, okay? Spirit is removing the toxic people out of your life. Uh, spirit is removing the people that's been negative uh, emotionally towards you or may have treated you poorly. But Virgo, you are progressing from the excuses that you have set inside your mind dealing with other people and now you are no longer accepting uh, bad behavior from anybody that has gave you any hindrance or, or gave you any problems. Yes, most re relationships are a reflection of what we see of the challenges of the things that we would not do to a person. But Virgo, you have started to elevate and overcome the things that you are doing for yourself. You are being more back in your authority and back in your power to overcome all of the fears that you may be sensing. Now, Virgo, some of you may not be talking to somebody right now because right now you are not only trying to figure out what you're trying to go but you also trying to see if this if this ship that you are on partnership relationship business ship if is this the way that you really wanted to go and I feel like you are stamp uh stamping down or you may have made a decision to be more about you than anything else at this moment okay but this person with the bad behavior uh, you are starting to be more precise about allowing spirit to guide you and lead you so you can complete the cycles that you had, uh, that you are having to the things to have more in your favor, okay? Virgo, it's time to stand back in your power. Be true to yourself like you are already doing and what you need, okay? Because what you don't see is the blessings coming, but everything is truly in your favor, okay? I say, I say, I man, I feel like Virgo, your willpower is very, very on point right now. Your intuition is on point. And I feel like right now, you uh, people have been making you go against the grain within yourself where you start to re-question yourself about your uh, intuitions or what you feel or what you see uh, that other people don't see, Virgo. And I'm feeling like right now, what may be going through right now, you being inspirational and determined to finally make that decision to probably uh, move forward. I'm not saying walk away from anybody or walk away from a job. I'm just saying you are moving forward and you are starting to see things in a more positive light where things are starting to come more abundantly for you, okay? Now, Spirit Guys in the Universe, thank you right now for everybody coming to the channel. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations, okay? Anybody wish any ill will mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, or emotionally, what we're going to do, we're going to send that energy to the universe in abundance of love, okay? Ashe, Ashe, amen, all right? So what we're going to work on, and Salah, my bad, what we're going to work on right Right now is awakening. This is going to help you awaken the truth within yourself from what your heart really needs, okay? It's going to help you be more inspired towards your loving yourself and mental clarity. Direct breath to heart, chest, and ribs, immune system. This is what it helps with. Uh, cultivate stability and inspiration and insight. Now, Interlace the fingers of both hands with the tips of the thumbs touching, pointing downward. Extend the index fingers upward, touching them together. Bring the hands close to the heart center, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders. We focus on this. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth, okay? Divine knowledge and inspiration 
awaken my highest truth, okay? Now, again, shout out to my A1 Day 1. Shout out to the Soul family. We are growing every single day. Let's go ahead and get the message. Let's breathe in this positive energy and let out all the negativity, okay? Let's get into it. All right, breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full of butter to your highest good and understanding. Now, hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go. Very good. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. For the abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all that negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that is hindering you, we letting it go as well. One more time, but Virgo, breathe in. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Hold it. And release out, Virgo. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Ashe, Ashe, and ah, uh, man. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what's going on with you, beautiful Virgo. Summer rising north, northern Venus, and even if you're a cross watcher, shout out to you. Thank you for coming to the channel. And if a Virgo doing this to you, I'm sorry about that, but let's go ahead and focus on you if you were the cross watching and getting your life together, okay? Now, spirit guys in the universe, what do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. I sure. And how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing great. I hope wherever you at right now, if you got them earbuds up in there, y'all make sure y'all take them earbuds. Make sure y'all listen to the message, and I hope it helps you accordingly. And a shout out to everybody. We got enough to start it out, okay? Let me get one more. Let me see what's going on. For Virgo, Summer Rising of Northern Venus. I share. All right, Virgo. What we got right now, we got the Five of Pentacles basically being upright, clarified by the Ten of Wands basically being in reverse, okay? Now, you could, this could be you in a placement, so dealing with some type of action that you want to make, uh, dealing with something that you are trying to let go of. Now, this can be stress, this can be agony, this can be turmoil, this can be a lot of burdens, this can be unnecessary burdens as well for you, Virgo. Now, with the Five of Pentacles basically being upright, I feel like you're trying to get yourself out of some type of poverty state, and I'm not talking about finances on majority on this one. This normally is a finance card time that you get out of some type of poverty. But I feel like you are trying to get yourself out of the uh, depression state or out of the coldness of feeling uh, overburdened by too many burdens, okay? So I feel like now for this new cycle or what's going on into your life, you are starting to release and you are starting to let go burdens that's not, no longer for you, okay? Now Virgo, I'm feeling right now you may be having problems expressing this because it may be some type of direction that you may want to put to a stop, okay? Now, not only that, I feel like the more you're not expressing about the past issues that may be dealing with things, the more you are starting to be empathic and you are starting to feel, okay? So, I feel like for majority of you, you may have been going through a situation when it came to a person that you can't express yourself from, like you feel like you are very responsible for half of the things is one-sided, but I feel like what's going on with you, the actions you are taking, you pull back because you realize you was pouring too much energy in a person and it makes you feel like you emotionally out of control. Now, Virgo, I feel like this, this energy that you may be feeling, it may be some nostalgia or it may be some type of energy that you may be empathically feeling about something from the past that needs to come to an end emotionally. Now, I feel like right now you want something big about it, but what's going on, I feel like you or the person or around you is not pushing to the determination or inspired to make any things any further. So I feel like you may be in a stagnated situation when it comes to to a lover about some type of secrets and betrayal or maybe some type of injustice. Now, it could be somebody pouring their energy into somebody else and you finally getting the clarity of. And I feel like you may, if not, I feel like you may be bored about a situation off of the gossip or somebody may be slandering your name. Okay, Virgo? I feel like you, um... You pull back yourself from, from this individual. You pulled yourself back to get yourself back balanced, okay? I feel like the truth and clarity that you need have made your mind more sharp on what you need to do, even though you look at, uh, when it, 
mind more sharp when it comes to what you need to do even when it comes to stability Virgo emotionally okay I feel like you may have been bored dealing with something and now you want to birth something new I feel like you want a new a new choice a new avenue a new path to take because the way that you try to communicate is just not coming through but you still may be hanging on to somebody for so long now the gossip and manipulation it's been sowing seeds for a while and I feel like this is the truth that you may got from somebody or maybe truth that you got into yourself to realize now that what's going on with the five of cups basically being upright the depression that you once had of being emotionally alone or feeling like you're emotionally abandoned or maybe feeling like you know things that fell out fell off course for you into growing with a person but you still deciding on not to deal with arrogant people and that's what made you stop Excuse me. I feel like right now, Virgo, you are starting to overcome over the fears within yourself about arrogant people who's not progressing or pouring the energy into you the way that it needs to be. Now, this can be a business. This can be dealing with your job as well, but you're not expressing yourself about the action you want to take because you've been putting a lot of work into the job and you know they just ain't been fulfilling your emotional needs or fulfilling them pockets, okay? Now, I feel like you're going through some past experiences of dealing with, with this before and now you're looking for something bigger and this can be dealing with relationships as well. Now, even though you don't went through the sadness of the cycles of the period of times emotionally not getting what you want, dealing with people being arrogant, that's over you. That's why I always didn't want to pour the right way. But I feel like the now the desires that people used to try to give you, Virgo, is trying to make you go backwards. And I feel like right now, every time you try to express it, that's why you being quiet. Okay? Every time that you express this to somebody and try to expand the relationship, expand the business or some type of expansion, I feel like right now with the actions it, it creates because concerns, doubts, and stress because somebody don't want to let you elevate over you, uh, over them, and that's what makes you lose your focus and, and determination. Now, Virgo, I feel like with this person right now, that they know by you not expressing yourself, Vir Virgo, that you're not giving the energy that like you normally do. It did put a stop because this person know they made some immature moves. Okay, let's be one thousand. They feel like the more energy that you poured into them, the more they felt back going through their past transgressions where they was getting everything that they want. However, by them not pouring back into you, Virgo, created you to be emotionally unstable and no longer generous. Now, with this past type of energy that this person may be dealing with, is going out of control. Virgo, this is why they try to make you do things, and maybe it's one-sided, because empathically, you see and you intuitive enough to understand about what you're going through, and this person see now that you are going through some type of hardship, or now off to the karma, they may be going through some hardship. Now, you want to marry this person, but right now I feel like the disappointments that may have been going on between you two, it created some type of lack of determination, and again, it's hard for y'all to overcome over the fears because this third-party situation that may have been going on is creating one of you to either to walk away and the other one seeing the truth and clarity. Now, I feel like with the truth and clarity, Virgo, this could be you, and it's challenging for you to move forward because you're seeing things for your best interest, but you don't want to be absorbed and to keep hanging on to things that's not suitable for you. Virgo, you taking some type of pursuit to instead of uh, letting people gossip about you from the seeds that you have sown, I feel like right now you are no longer taking demands about being depression, uh, being in depression or feeling like you rejected. I feel like you are overcoming the personal issues within yourself for you in order to move forward. Maybe you was arrogant about this new starting point, Virgo. Maybe something else about it. Uh, maybe the, uh, the energy that they wasn't giving you, you are starting to they are starting to see your recognition and how victorious you are. The more you overcome over the challenges with them, the more you try to resolve a resolution or any type of conflict, dealing with them trying to take you down the wrong road, it's all because it's some type of truth or hurt within them that they don't want to express. So every time you end up talking about, let's make this love grow, let's make it more, it's always some type of dispute that makes you go out of control. Now, Virgo, you are wise enough to start to see the learning curves within this person to not have this person on a pedestal. And even though you was hanging on for dearly and deeply as you could be, Virgo, for this long period of time, <coughs> I feel like now you're getting choked up again because every time it's too long and you want to express yourself, but you see the delays and warnings and now it's helping you identify the problems within yourself. Virgo, I feel like right now this lack of determination uh, is creating tower moments between uh, whatever you may be going through. I feel like you've been doing the research on yourself to become more uh, informative about people, uh, about not wasting your time with people or not wasting your time to things that's not making you happy. You're getting the recognition, you're starting new, you are no longer want to be drained out, Virgo, and the way 
that you are moving, you are no longer you are moving away from being entrapped in any type of situations because you're going back to the, to your traditional ways. You'll give a person a period of time, but any type of truthful events that came to you that you were blindsided about, now you are starting to take the courage and the stand dealing with somebody manipulated truth. Third party situations, you accepted it for the way that it was. Even though you still love this person, but right now you are not letting yourself be blocked from intuition and now you are starting to no longer let anybody bring any excuses towards you because it's too much agony and it's too much pain. Okay, Virgo? So, I feel like right now, Virgo, I feel like for you to get through what you need to get through right now, you got to start embracing your loving side. You got to start birthing something new. Like right now, you in the darkness and you in the unknown, but you are starting to seek the answers for within yourself to uplift these burdens, okay? Now, I feel like, Virgo, the more you don't express yourself, you're not expressing yourself that you're not, you are connected. You are expressing yourself to the wrong person. Express yourself to spirit because and, and, spirit is connected with you for you to see the truth about this, uh, about your fears, about knowing how to overcome come over about the problems you identify within yourself and you are born to change your avenue and change his life the change is unavoidable with you dealing with this unreliable person in these tower moments virgo dealing with uh people that may be overindulgent in, in same sex or whatever it is i'm not judging nobody for what they do but i feel like for you virgo you are no longer want to be mentally frustrated you've been patient long enough and you starting to know your power okay now you starting to know the actions that's coming in for you and you are starting to move forward like a stallion okay now not only that virgo this manipulated truth that you've been going through it's time for you to ground virgo and you gotta embrace the secrets and just follow the moon follow the uh follow your uh emotions follow your intuition when it comes to people that's trying to be sneaky okay uh not only that this person can no longer be a shapeshifter anymore and it's time for you to embrace what spirit got to tell you virgo that is very very important for you okay now virgo let's go on and get ready to close this out a little bit you seeking the answers from within about letting go and releasing something something new that you're about to birth through you are not you about to birth away from anything that feeling mysterious around you that's suppressing your energy you are no longer uh uh, being tired I feel like going through long journeys you are no longer thinking about a person right now Virgo you are no longer even bitter and angry with yourself since you know your power you know how to release yourself from anybody with a lustful spirit or maybe the person you may be dealing with have a non-committal type of energy that just not clear-headed enough to see what they really have in front of them Virgo I feel like right now you about to walk out without making a confession and you are starting to put yourself first you are starting to understand that you have overcame over the reflections of a twin site of a twin flame cycle and not only that they are, they do not know your awareness and importance and they really don't even see how much they hurt you Virgo and because you stood on your boundaries and now they may be going through these problems as well so to close this out Virgo you have been working on your masculine energy you've been doing a lot a lot of work in assertiveness and being more in action I feel like right now you are starting to identify the person that's probably an energy vampire or a gold digger or somebody who just wants something off of them I'm a narcissistic person. Uh, I feel like right now, Virgo, you know they've been lying to you, Virgo, and that's why you pulled your energy back from being only them. Now, they want to communicate. They want to try to work it out, but I feel like with this lustful, non-committal energy, Virgo, you are no longer want to, you don't want to communicate. You know uh, you better off doing something else, but here come this person. Here come this twin flame. They want to come in with a confession because you pulled back. Now, Virgo, the reason why you pulled back because maybe you just wanted to reflect on your health and emotions can affect your health if you stay in depression, okay? Now, Virgo, now right now, I feel like you don't want a commitment no more or somebody want to come in and try to give you an offer of a commitment, okay? But however, you want to seek the answer within about this person not being intimate with you. This person is not giving sexual chemistry uh, the way that it needs to be or the way that you want to and it all may be a water sign may be in a play, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but Spirit woman to tell you everything will fall out on your side once this narcissist realizes who they are, and I feel like you have broken this person down by the boundaries. Now, Virgo, what I will say for you, Virgo, the beautiful part about what's going on, let's get a little bit more. What do we have for Virgo? What is coming in for Virgo? So I'm going to rise for the Venus. What, what is coming in for Virgo? Virgo, I feel like right now you may be trying to win by any means right now or somebody may be trying to come in and win by any means. I feel like, Virgo, you are going through the challenges, but you are willing to fight it out to get to where you need to be into your life. And I feel like you are in pursuit going towards it, okay? Five of, five of uh, one, yeah. 
Five of Swords clarifying by the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you are moving very fast about finding some type of resolution of that what you need in your life. Okay, Virgo. Now, with the Seven of Wands basically being in reverse, I feel like you are, uh, what's coming in is this deceptive person or this loyal person maybe trying to come back in and give an offer, all for another third party situation, but you acknowledge and seeing what it is. This person want to confess about or communicate about something that they have done that hurt you, Virgo. But I said, uh, I feel like right now what's coming in for you, new love and abundance. I feel like you are no longer dealing with secrets, betrayals of people. You are moving forward and now this person want to come in because now you've been waiting for so long to try to build with somebody. However, you are not letting nobody else block you. So what is coming in for you, you got new love opportunities coming in, Virgo. Justice will be uh, justified for you once you stop letting this person control over you and, and stop making you rush. So slow down when a person trying to make you rush. See what it is about what's going on in their life, okay? Because things are in your favor. You really got the upper hand. This person want to come and talk to you. This job probably want to give you an offer. New jobs and opportunities coming in. Your energy is abundant. You are working on your health. You are starting to eliminate yourself away from toxic type of energies and now even with them. So Virgo, people are starting to see you elevate. It's time for you to receive your blessings. It's time for you to receive your abundance. It's time for you to elevate yourself. It's time to motivate yourself. It's time to inspire yourself to get back on that right track like you've been doing. You're not letting nobody bring you down. You're not letting nobody hinder you. You not let nobody stop you and you ain't let nobody do anything to you anymore because you have the power and you have the control to run your life accordingly okay virgo i say i say i mean now what we're gonna work on this one i am a being a divine light full of unlimited potential i am a being a divine light full of unlimited potential i say i say i say i mean i am letting go of all i do not need so i can easily move into my dream home with perfect timing I say, I say, I mean, money come easily and often to me. Money come easily and often to me. I say, I say, I mean, and the last one is my body always let me know what it needs. My body always let me know what it needs. I say, I say, I mean. Now, Virgos, cross watcher, that is your collective reading. Now, if it resonates for you, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, tell me how you feel. With that basically being said, you want a personal description box below, text me, get at me, make it happen. We can do whatever we need to do to make this work, okay? So, peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel, but especially taking care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. You got to control back over your life. You got the power and authority because you are that God and that goddess. Go get it. Don't let nobody bring you down. I believe in you. God believe in you. Believe in yourself. I say, I say, I man. Namaste, baby. Yeah.